All right, I'm finally to the point where I can remove the body and uh, kind of replace the forming materials that I built, the basket in the rear and the little uh, foam block in the front to show where everything is. And so basically you can kind of get an idea of what I'm trying to achieve here. I'm trying to make sure that uh, I can build inside the body. And that's what you'll see. Uh, kick the rear end out a few inches to uh, match the width of my drivetrain over here. Uh, as you can see, I've got my uh, spacing material, my forming materials that I put inside the car. They are now in place on the platform to show me where the openings are underneath the body. Uh, obviously, it'll be a lot of the body cut out in spots in order to, to, in order to make sure all the stuff fits in the back end. You can see there's my wire frame that I built. It's all exactly in the exact same spot it was in. It's hanging from its wire. That keeps it the right height in the back. Uh, measurements have been taken already on this. Uh, it's basically in the right position. As you can see, it's a certain amount above the wheels. This is going to tell me where the rear end of the, the car is. I try to make sure my build is at least an inch inside of all this wire so that uh, nothing will protrude from the body when it's finished. I've got weights on this block here where I've got it. I mark this block on the floor. The wire comes out of there. goes up. This is what goes up in the rear hatch area. These, these two wires here will be tied together with some tape here in a little while. Right now I'm probably going to end up taking this framework off so it doesn't get damaged uh, so that I can do the initial part of the build get the motor in place uh, along with the transmission and then I'll put the scaffolding back on so that uh, so that I can make sure that everything's going to fit underneath so basically that's what's looking like right now um, in a little while I'll